As we celebrate the overagers on the Kitchen Arrangers this season, we take an opportunity to visit with Marco Costantini. Marco, we don't get to talk to you during the game, so let's talk now and, and reflect back upon your career in the OHL. I want to start off, let's go all the way back to draft day. Take me through those feelings as you were drafted by uh, the Hamilton Bulldogs, so close to home. Yeah, so we were as a family watching the, the draft on the TV upstairs, and I saw Hamilton Bulldogs. I was super excited. You know, my goalie coach for um, probably eight years was a um, goalie coach for Hamilton Bulldogs, so that was really exciting. And uh, it was lucky to get drafted at home and to live at home for my first couple of years playing in the OHL. So, obviously, we've talked about this on the broadcast before. Your twin brother, Anthony, uh, hockey player as well. And now, as you get drafted, as you're playing junior B and around that age, it's the first time you and Anthony aren't playing together. From, from your entire hockey career, you've been kind of a package deal. You've been a team. How much of an adjustment for, was it for you to not be playing together? Yeah, that was really different. You know, we played each other my whole life growing up, uh, throughout minor midget or minor, minors hockey and everything. Uh, you know, when we didn't draft the same team, it was a little bit sad. But uh, it was good for us, I think, to get separated for a bit to see how it was by ourselves. But um, yeah, it's fun playing against them in the OHL, though. <laughs> you mentioned how, how enjoyable it was for you, specifically in Hamilton, being so close to home. So let's talk about last season with Hamilton, an OHL championship. An amazing, amazing year. The, the community rallied behind the Bulldogs all season long. You had an outdoor game. You had six shutouts in the regular season and, and three shutouts in the playoffs. It's like a storybook year for this hometown kid. When you think back on it, what, what jumps to the forefront for you? Yeah, you know, I couldn't ask for anything else last year. You know, that was probably the um, most exciting year I've had playing hockey. And we had so much fun. Like the outdoor game, you said, was really, that was a really a once in a lifetime experience, especially playing in the OHL, getting the outdoor game. And, um, you know, winning that OHL Cup at home felt really good. And that was so much fun. So even though you're not a member of the Bulldogs now, you guys are always kind of joined together, your brothers, your champions. You still keep in touch with most of the guys from that team? Yeah, you know, we played London the other day, and I said hi to the guys playing there. So every time I see them around the rink, I always say hi. And it was a great group we had. So I'm going to ask you to pick one favorite moment from your career. And I think, I I'm guessing it would be the OHL Championship. So now I'm going to ask you what your second favorite moment would be if you think of your entire OHL career what would you pick not the OHL championship probably Mem Cup you know experiencing that was uh, really cool you know that's another once a lifetime chance too uh, just being up there and being uh, playing hockey when there's only five teams left playing is really really cool or no four teams left is really exciting and uh, really glad I got to enjoy that so I want you to look at this monitor over here and uh, we're going to cycle through some pictures for you I've got young Marco Costantini here and you see all the early stages of your career. When you think back to this guy, Marco, when you think back, you know, the dreams you had of playing in the OHL one day, when you think back now with the experience you have and you look at that guy, what advice would you give him as he's prepared to play his first OHL game? Uh, tell him, you know, don't be nervous. OHL is a really hard league for goalies and, uh, you know, practice every single day. You'll, be, you'll get used to it. And, um, just don't be nervous. Do you remember back being that age, being nervous as you took the ice for the first time? Um, I do, yeah. My first year was three years ago uh, for Hamilton, and <clears throat> I was a little bit nervous, but um, uh, I thought I had a good first year. Yeah, yeah well, you're, you're, I, I, I stand beside you every time you go on the ice. There's no nerves I see out there uh, when you're taking the ice here in Kitchener. So let's close this out by talking about Kitchener. Obviously, so much of your career was in Hamilton, but this year you come to Kitchener, you're playing with a great group of guys, you're playing with a bunch of different coaches, um, how is Kitchener different and what has this experience been like for you this season? You know, I love playing here at the Odd. The fans are really electric here. Uh, Kitchener's been really good to me here and it's a really great organization and I just love my time playing here. Well, Marco, as we close out uh, the career and I know there's still more to come uh, in the playoffs, much more to come hopefully for Rangers Nation. We just want to say congratulations and uh, Rangers Nation wishes you luck wherever hockey takes you. Thank you.